Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey, Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, broadcasting live from Detroit and stretching to the heart of Central Texas here on WCHB 1200 and 99.9 FM with co-host Longhorn. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Live call in number 313-568-1200. And now, here's your host that never gets it right but is never wrong, Will Sims. All right, all right. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, sitting up here with D.C. Longhorn. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, Longhorn here. Prime time, game time. Detroit Sports Jersey. Let's get it on. All right, let's jump right into it. Live call in number 313-568-1200. Fellas, we're going to start off with the um, Detroit Lions. Got a big game tomorrow against St. Louis. I mean, New Saints. I mean, the Saints. I'm sorry, New Orleans Saints. I'm sorry. All right, okay. You, know, you heard. You heard the intro. Ain't no professionals here. <laughs> I thought that like, was a new team. I, was about to say, I thought that was a new team too. He said uh, New Orleans uh, Rams. Okay, what? I'm gonna call New Orleans Saints St. Rams. Louis. What? St. Louis. What? <laughs> All right, call in. You want to talk about your Detroit line? Are you believing in them this year? Do you think they the real deal? It's just a smoking screen. I'm gonna make a confession today. I was gonna make one. I, I was gonna make one too. Go ahead. I'm buying oh. off into the Detroit line. Oh man, oh. I'm buying the, off into the defense. Man. They done yeah, something. the defense, man. yes. No, no, I'm not buying it. You ain't buying off no, into man, D.C.? No, they ain't play nobody. Show me, show me, son, show me tomorrow, y'all top five defense. Show me tomorrow. Till then, well, I'm, well, I'm not I'm not even convinced they're top five defense. You well, said, you know, they're the number one defense they're the number now. One. I, nah, they ain't, nah, I don't even, uh, nah, they ain't even show me they number one. So, like I said, well, they, show me tomorrow they number one. Where they're sick, where they're second against the run. Okay. Uh, but they're number one. They got number one. You know, uh, defense. They ain't you know, played nobody. Uh, scoring defense. They ain't played nobody. Not, not, they haven't played anybody. They DC. ain't played nobody. I don't even want to hear that. They ain't played nobody. Like I said, show me tomorrow. They number one defense. Show me tomorrow at Ford Field. You can shut down Drew Brees. Then I can DC, believe. DC. They leading the league in sacks. They 20. ain't played nobody. So far though. Uh, Olin's only allowed for it. They didn't beat Cam Newton. They didn't beat Cam Newton. No, no, Cam Newton. I'm sorry, you were They didn't beat Cam Newton. Cam Newton, yeah. They didn't beat Cam Newton. Don't let me have to keep pointing to the intro. I ain't no professional shit. <laughs> 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 oh, Will, oh, Will okay, bringing yeah. a new team. Give me, give me, sh- like, tell me the stats, and I'm, I'm going to just go ahead from there. Tell me the stats, because they they still not showing me their top. Number one defense. Okay, check this out. If they beat uh, Breeze and then set November the 23rd, you know, right before Thanksgiving, uh-huh. they play uh, Tom Brady and the uh-huh. boys. Uh-huh. They beat them. Are you a believer? Yes, that? I would believe that. But still, hello, you got you got, you got got the Saints tomorrow. Atlanta. You, Atlanta next week. Oh, by the way, that Atlanta game, people, is in London. 30 in the morning. Yeah, in London. Because <laughs> they playing in London. <laughs> yeah. So you got, you got football, maybe four games coming up. That you got to convince me that you're a number one defense. They got Miami after that. Then That's they a got win. Arizona. They that, that might Arizona. be. They ain't gonna, is it Arizona? Yeah, it's at Arizona. They, they not going to win that one because they never won Arizona. So, like I said. Well, you, but you know the Saints offense only allowed four sacks the whole season. Right. And they and they averaged uh, 442 plus yards per game. And Drew bleed Drew oh Drew he can he can fool a defense with his eyes and his fake pump I mean right. fake pumps right that's why I so, said so you, you, they got to show me tomorrow that they're number one defense you know, it's Halloween it's, it's Halloween and uh, <laughs> Halloween's coming up and uh, Drew Brees gonna have some tricks and treats for those lines okay. uh, corner a uh, cornerback and let me throw this out there at you guys don't forget. When the um, um, Saints, I was about to say St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> let, me just, let me just keep saying New Orleans. I'm about to say, say, have you been watching you the uh, baseball this year? You've been watching me, the baseball this but, week? When New Orleans come off the bye week, so far they're 5 and 0. That's what I said. Okay. You know, so. I, I'm going to just say that. Uh, you know, of course. Detroit is struggling with their offense and their kicking game. Of we course. all know that. Yes, we know that. You know, so. Um, they're cornerbacks. You know the running game sucks. 
receivers. You know, well, you know, Calvin's out. Um, Ebron, the tight end, he's out. Bum. Reggie Bush, I believe he's also going to be say out. He's, no, they say he's questionable. You know, he's questionable. He's, I think but they the say thing he's questionable. Is, but the thing is, you know, we talked earlier during the se- season, what would you rather have, a powerhouse offense or a power-dominating defense? Defense wins the games. And so far, the Lions' defense has been carrying them. Well, see, so. what well, they defense remind me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know, I know, I might be stretching in here a little bit, but I'm just oh, saying personally, don't, don't, me don't myself. I'm gonna throw out some don't, fuzzy don't, numbers. Don't do it. Don't <laughs> say it. Don't say what I think you' about to say. What about their defense? <laughs> yes. Don't, don't even say. compare okay, them. Y'all tell okay, me. Okay, go, go, go ahead. Throw the throw, throw the fuzzy number out there. Go ahead. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't say who I think you try to compare them to. They remind me of the 85 Bears. Okay, no, no, <laughs> def- no. No, no. Let me tell you why. Let me no. tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because they defense took them to the Super Bowl and won. Let's keep it real. Chicago Bears offense sucked that year. They had, they had, they, they had Jim McMahon. Okay. I mean, you had, had, uh, don't say the refrigerator. No, please. they had. They had Watson Payton. Yeah, okay. He didn't really. Make I no mean, impact. It, it was the defense, man. They, <laughs> man, they the had de- the Chicago. They said the Chicago Bear hustle. That dance they had out. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I mean, so DC, you saying you ain't bought off nah, into this nah, defense? No, nah, I have not. They ain't play nobody. They, but they win in the games no, they're supposed no. to win. I, I understand. We, see, I, I understand that, but so you can't have it both ways. If they lose the games. For this, for you to tell me they're a number one defense, you have to play somebody for me to believe you're a number one defense. They, they, they're not a number they one defense. defense. Don't all, they should be six and zero. Oh. They should be, but they're not. You know. But like I well, said, who, who they have to play, DC? Who they have to they, play? Let's for see. You, to you gotta show me Sunday. You gotta show me against Atlanta, and you definitely gotta show me against Tom Brady that you're a number one. You a top five defense. You say against Atlanta. That's um, next Sunday. Yeah. So he's counting this game out. I, 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 no, I'm counting this game. You got to show me this game, Atlanta game, and you definitely had to show me against Tom Brady. Okay, so that's what you that's what you going. That's with? what I'm going with. Yeah, okay. because no, they uh, they didn't have, to so, me they're not a top five. So that'll defense. be week that'll be week twelve yeah. when they play uh, Tom Brady. Yep. Yeah. And so if they beat them, I will believe that they're so tough. If, okay, let me ask you a question. Let's say they beat the rest <laughs> of the team before leading up to Tom Brady, and they lose that one. That's going. That's how is that going to I mean, it, it, it is still show me that they're a top five, but them three games I just named, you had to. I would believe that they're a top five defense. Then he's gonna go get a Lions jersey. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, no, no. Uh. Uh-uh. Where are you gonna get your Lions jersey? Come to work in your Lions jersey. This is confession, Sandy. <laughs> I'm, I'm about not to doing it. No. Here. Go ahead. You go confess. You about to get your Lions jersey? I'm about to go get me a Lions jersey today. <laughs> I'm going as a Detroit Lions player, <laughs> trick or treating. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. That's what I'm. I'm you going trick or treat? Yes, I'm going trick or treating. Yes. <laughs> well, you, hey, well, Breeze got some tricks and treats for you, uh, uh, and for your trick bag. So watch out for watch out for them fake punks and watch out for them eyes, cause hey, you you look one way, he's a no look passer. So just like in basketball, the no look pass. And and, and and plus, you know, Drew Brees he struggles on the road too, so that's why I say that they got to show me. Oh yeah, they the Saints. Um, yeah. They most definitely struggle mm-hmm. on the road. So um, Longhorn, are you buying off into it? I'm 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 I'm, I'm thinking about buying off into the Cowboys. No, <laughs> 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 actually, I I, 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 I kind of agree with him on that, but. I'm not gonna go, go with the that Cowboys far out uh, there and say that. The Lions. Hey, I'm not gonna go out I there. I think y'all. Um, speaking of the Cowboys, I think um, you boys down there giving Tony Romo too much credit for these <laughs> victories when it's Demarco Murray all the way. As a matter of fact, Demarco Murray is out rushing every, almost every NFL team in the league except for two. So I think y'all boys down there in Cowboy Land is giving him. You too know that much you know credit. they like Cowboys. You know the Cowboys they, they they that's they that's all they know is the big hype. But but, the, but, but you know <laughs> big hype. But you know think about it though, they giving they giving Romo a lot of the credit because even though Demarco is running over everybody, it's like uh, they can't stop him and stop the pass. So they trying to concentrate on the pass, which giving giving him free reign to to run all over everyone. Right, you got it. 
So that's why the Cowboys, the Cowboys, are, uh, they're a two-dimensional team that right is. now. That's, that's what you got to look at. The Lions, they're one-dimensional. What you, you think they're they gonna away? do tomorrow against the G-Man? Oh, they're gonna beat them. The hands down. Yeah, I, I agree. They're gonna beat the G-Man. I'm gonna go with the G-Man. You gonna go with the G-Man? No. Yep. Yeah. You talking about for Eli? <laughs> Eli? Yep. Yeah. I'm going with the G-Man. Actually, you, you know what? what they showing that game right after the Lions tomorrow. Oh, that's a little bit yeah, yeah, that's so that's a good double header. Yeah, that's a double header, yeah. So because yeah, last week, last Saturday, look at all the wins: Lions won, Dallas won, the 49ers won, Michigan won. So I think we're on the roll on the win streak here. I don't, I don't think I picked Michigan last week. I picked. I did. State, I picked them last week. Well, I got you know mud on my face because I said they'll never win a game the rest yeah, of the yeah. season. They what they go, they went out there and let me they down. Let you down. And won, won. <laughs> I, I forbid them to win another game. But you game. said, but you said they was gonna only go. Well, you did. Okay, yeah, you did say they're not gonna win no more. I, I gave them two wins, so hopefully, they, hopefully they could beat Michigan State next week. Hopefully. Oh no, that's that's a wrap. That's, that's what you I said. Hopefully, keyword. Hopefully. Yeah, you know what hopefully. it is. The Michigan fans they listen to the show. They heard Will say they're not gonna win another game. I guess <laughs> when they get the. Uh, they're going to go on the street here and send you a jersey also. <laughs> That's crazy. You're going to be wearing a Michigan jersey and, and a Lions, Lions jersey. jersey. And I'm going to send you a Cowboy jersey all the way here from <laughs> Texas. Speaking of, uh, while we while we st- talking college ball, fella, let me ask y'all a quick question. What do y'all college think? Ball. Of college football. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> you got that out of your system? <laughs> <laughs> What y'all think about that Jameis Winston situation um, as far as um, him getting in trouble signing autograph? You know, the, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, Longhorn. I mean, what's y'all opinion on that, about his situation down there? Well, my opinion is this. Just like OJ, and uh, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> it don't have anything for, for once, can y'all just leave OJ money. alone? <laughs> it was, all he he did got was enough sad. problems. He ain't that sleeping with me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> no, nah, go ahead. It's, 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 all, all, all he did was sign, sign, sign. He hasn't taken any money. There's no proof. Uh, you see all the time players, when they're going through the tunnel, coming out of the tunnel, people bending over, hey, sign this, sign that. You see college players signing all type of stuff. So, there's no proof that he took any money. Just because he signed something and somebody went out and sold it, and then, you know, now somebody's <laughs> trying to c- come to the back door and screw the guy. Well, long like, on. Uh, let me say this. like Cochran. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. No justice, no peace. Okay, listen here, civil rights guy. <laughs> we just talking football here. We ain't playing on marching down there in Florida because he signed two, 200 of the same, same footballs. footballs. Uh, what, uh, the, my thing is why you can't. I mean, as a as a athlete and you that big of a star, why? I mean, what's wrong with signing some autographs? It's against the rules. I my mean, man. It's, but he doing that all the after the game and before the game. I mean, what's if, 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 if you if you gonna say it's against the rules? He might as well not sign nothing. Well, if he's taking money, that's yeah, true. But I it's mean, against, it's not against the rules to sign. Your autograph is against the rules to get paid. That's true. That's true. But I mean, like Even Longhorn, like Longhorn said, if if there's no evidence of him getting money, leave it alone. Okay, y'all. If be, it is, I, I mean, buddy, if my the thing. The guy signed <laughs> two hundred of the same football. That's not proof enough. They say he got no, money for not. it though. Oh, he stayed after practice and just signed, <laughs> signed two football. I mean, that, you could, that, but that, if you're not getting honey. money for it, I mean, then no, I wouldn't. You I wouldn't. What? I wouldn't yeah, do nothing. Was, the guy was working on his penmanship. Give the guy credit. He want to keep make sure it's in cursive writing. That's in cursive. I know people don't use that word nowadays, but he's working on his cursive writing. Will that's all he was doing? There's no money. Check his bank account. Bank account hasn't risen. So I say let the guy go, I and mean, he's still gonna play against Notre Dame. Yeah, that's so. true. He's still gonna play. Yeah, he's all and, right. and, I, and I'm gonna say this: without him, they're not going undefeated. So that's that's pretty. Oh no doubt. That's well, why they, without him, they're not. That's going why they, they not, turning their back on yeah. them like they don't see nothing yeah. down there. Exactly. Because they know without him, they're not winning no more games. Wait a minute, you say they like they don't see nothing. So you're trying to say that you think he's guilty? Man, please. Yes, he's <laughs> guilty. <laughs> yes, I, he's I, guilty. I, I, mean, I don't. I don't. I don't think he's not guilty. But like I said, if there's proof, 
that he's been taking money, then you should spend him. But like you said, they they turning his back, so they not gonna say oh, nothing. Because serious. yeah, it's because look, if they were not undefeated, he'd be just like Ty Gurley. He'd be out of there. But since they're undefeated, he's not going nowhere. That's well, right. Oh, of course. Detroit, call in. Detroit, call in. <laughs> Texas, call in. Michigan, call in. I, I'll put fans. it out there. Without James Winston, they're not undefeated. Oh, oh no doubt. No doubt. You know, because he ain't lost a game. No, since he ain't been? lost him since he he, ain't, he has not lost a game since he's been there. So that's why they're throwing trying to. So sweep you actually the believe them two hundred footballs he signed? That's 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 not proof enough. That's not proof. No. All that you know about that that's proof. Well, he will. would love y'all on his. I mean, but my my thing is if I <laughs> if, if I'm a if I'm a star athlete like he is, if I can't sign a football and give it to a fan, I mean, what's wrong with that? It's, if it's that's if right. it's not breaking a rule, if that fan okay. is handing you money back, that's a problem. Are you right? If, if he's handing me money, that's a, that's a problem. But he if he's not handing me money, that's not a problem. So you mean? But you know, you know they say though, if if was a fifth, we'll all be drunk. All right, on that note, let's take a commercial break. (laughs) We're going to come back. And uh, check this out, fellas. When we come back, I want you to um, answer this question for me. What's that one thing that sports fans say that pisses you off the most? Like, for example, I'm going to tell you what mine is, and then y'all give me yours after the break. I hate when fans be like, but it's the same team that's always playing for the championship. Okay, what they supposed to do? Lose? <laughs> what they supposed to do? Lose to make your team happy? Well, okay, but y'all think about that. That's mine. You can give me y'all um, opinion and thoughts on that when we come back from this break. We'll be back after a commercial. Listen up, parents and all high school seniors. Detroit Sports Jersey is giving away a $300 scholarship. And all you have to do is write an essay explaining why you should win. Send your 1,000-word essay to info at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Essays will be accepted from October 1st, 2014 through April 1st, 2015. Apply for the Detroit Sports Jersey Scholarship today. Winners will be announced Saturday, April 18th, 2015. Good luck, high school seniors. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by LeBronWelcomeBack.com. LeBronWelcomeBack.com is an exclusive fan-based website dedicated to NBA superstar LeBron James. It will follow him with current updates about himself, his team, and social life. Visit LeBronWelcomeBack.com today. All right, welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, sitting up here with DC, yeah. the Longhorn, <laughs> live call live call in number 568. 1200. That's 568 1200. Any of y'all done check out any NBA exhibition games so far? No. No, I haven't checked them. I'm waiting for the real deal. Yeah, I'm waiting for the real deal. Y'all don't get off until no. the exhibition. No. Like no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. getting into preseason football. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Preseason baseball, preseason football, preseason NBA. Wait for the real deal. Yeah, I kind of feel you on that, you know. But check this out. What's the? I asked you fellas a question just before we went to the commercial break, and I asked you, what is that one thing that a sports fan say that pisses you off? You just hate to hear them say over and over. Go ahead, DC. DC, you first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't have really nothing to that you know fans that piss me off. I think you know, I don't have nothing. You don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. So fans say stuff to you, you just happy all the time. No, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's just all the time. You happy? You are, you don't never get mad. You a happy fan? You just stay happy, huh? Just stay nah, happy. I don't stay happy. It just, it depends on my. You t- like that song? Cause I'm happy. <laughs> okay, DC. I mean, I'm Longhorn. This ain't the, this ain't uh Showtime at the Apollo. The voice. <laughs> Go ahead, Longhorn. Sorry, Longhorn. What's yours? Uh, we are rebuilding. Uh, <laughs> what about last year? Uh, what about two, three, five years ago? That sounds like the Lions. I'm oh, my bad. I said it wrong. Uh, uh, our secondary needs work, which I hear that a lot of times. And uh, you can't blame the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> you was close to I one it. that I hate. The I mean, uh, Longhorn. When you said, what about last? No, they two what kills me. Wait till next year. Wait till next year. That's the oh, Lions. That's the Lions. Yeah. Yeah. that's the Lions. Yeah, that's the Lions. Lions, Lions are big for fans. that. Fans, no. <laughs> the Lions are big for that. Wait till next but, year. But, you know, here's another one. Here's another one that really gets me is, but we're going to the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're going to the playoffs. We, we just, we're just trying to get back in the playoffs. That's all we're trying to do. So you're not trying to go to the Super Bowl, even with the NBA. You're not trying to – to, to win the NBA, 
even with the college Come match. On. You're not trying to win the Final Four. We just want to get in the Sweet 32, Sweet 16, just... NBA. We just want to go to the playoffs. If we get to the playoffs, we're good. If we win our division, we're good. I say take it all the way to the Super Bowl. Win, lose, or draw. So I mean, but most teams, you know, they got to get to the playoffs first. It dep- It is what you do in the playoffs that matters. So, I mean, I, 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 I kind of agree with that because, you know, most players – most teams always want to get to the playoffs. It's what you do when let's you get to the playoffs. Well, let's go to line one and see what the caller thinks. Hello, caller. Thank you for calling Detroit Sports Jersey. Hey, fellas. How y'all doing? All, All right. right. And yourself? Okay. All okay, right. Yeah, listen. I, I, I want to do a reality check here. Go ahead. Talk uh, to me. Uh, uh, don't you think that the line need a, another guy that can go in there sometime and give uh, this, 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 this million, multi-million dollar quarterback some rest? So this, 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 this guy is going to blow it for again this year, no doubt about it. And, 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 and Megatron can't keep pulling him, bailing him out of, out of the fire, so forth. And he, he don't know how to spread, he don't get the idea of spreading the ball around to our rest of his uh, receivers and so forth. Well, sir, we, went through, we went through this stuff last year, the same thing with him and so forth. But, That's sir, right. they, went out, but they went out there and got gold and tape. I mean, how much more help do he need? Yeah, but well, he's not but, <laughs> but he ain't, he ain't spreading the ball around like he's supposed to do. That, that's my point. Well, no, and, no. Uh, well, see, the thing about it is when Calvin Johnson ain't out there, let's be honest, he's lost. He don't know what to do. Yeah, well, that's right. And that's why I said, don't you think sometimes that they should have got another quarterback coming in and get him some relief? Because sometimes he seems like he's lost out there when he out there trying to play his ball and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, sir, I may ask that. Sir, I think you're absolutely right. You got those one to mention – one-dimensional uh, quarterbacks, and like you say, you need somebody at the end so the, the so the offense get okay. You know what, Stafford, sit down a couple of plays and let this guy get in and show you something. Because when you got a That's homie right. quarterback right. out there, he's gonna make things happen. You know. That's so. right. So, sir, would you would, would you say this is the last year that he proves himself for the Lions, or? Well, I, I, I would think so. I don't know about nowhere else, but but I would think so. I mean, uh, I don't know how y'all guys feel about it, but I would think so. Well, actually, you know what? I think that they should put the pressure on him. That, yeah, because last year he didn't have no pressure, and, and he blows almost six games through through his necklaces and throwing interceptions and so forth. And so I, yep. I, I was hoping that Coach had, had got somebody like Michael Vick or somebody to come in and so forth. Are you buying into they – uh, sir, are you buying into their defense? To a certain extent, but like you said, I got to see another two good games that he, they got to play, teams they got to play in order to, to really buy into that defense. Because, I mean, they, 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 done, they done did some pretty good stuff, but I'm not convinced yet. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not you convinced say, yet. You said you ain't sold on it yet? <laughs> well, no, I ain't. I haven't. Because they, they were so disappointed last year, so... I, I can't, I can't, you know, get with them right now. You say, <laughs> yeah, you say you don't want them to get let down again, huh? That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Do you see them making the playoffs? Uh, yeah, yeah. If, 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 if the Megatron come back, sure, no doubt about it. And, 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 and that, that that great uh, defensive guy, what's his name? Uh, Sue. Who come back? Sue. Sue. <laughs> Sue. I called his name. Fairly, Sue. Sue Fairly. The other one. Which other one? The defensive coordinator or the defensive lineman? The defensive lineman, yeah. Oh, you talking about Sue? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I, I, I just want y'all. I want y'all to see it. So. <laughs> oh yeah, Sue, even... Sue and Fairly. They got they got the one two punch on that on that line. Exactly. But still. Uh, exactly. But still you know, fans, when you have a team that that you're pulling for and they let you down season after season. Let's go to line like, two, sir. I appreciate you calling <laughs> in. Let's go to line two. See what the call on line two have to say. Thanks for calling. Oh, line two. No, there's no line two. Oops. <laughs> All right, sir. Appreciate you calling in. Uh, let's get these picks before we get up out of here, fellas. I'm going to start with you, Longhorn. Go ahead. As a matter of fact, Longhorn, give me some of that Texas corner minute right quick. Well, the Texas corner minute, uh, hey, we're waiting for – we're hoping, just like all fans, that the, the, the Longhorns make the bowl, make a bowl game. 
But I don't think they're going to make it because uh, they can Sir, replace they're <laughs> two and four. What bowl? A cereal bowl? What bowl are you talking about? <laughs> Hey, okay. hey, hey, just long hard. Just say, just, just say like you hate fans. Just say wait till we'll wait till next year. It's always next year. Just, just go ahead and get that out the way. Just go ahead and yeah, say, go ahead and we'll make wait till next year. Hey, we're, we're, we are rebuilding and we're winning next year. <laughs> <laughs> go, go Cowboys. I'm going to get me a jersey. I got to go get me a jersey now. I'm convinced. All right, who you got, G Men or the um, Cowboys tomorrow? <laughs> Cowboys. Uh, Lions. Saints, Saints. Who you got? Ah, oh, that's a rough one. I'm going. Oh, I'm, I'm going. To, I'm going to the Lions. I'm going to the Lions. Let's go, DC. DC, what you got? I'm gonna go Saints, and I'm gonna go Cowboys. Saints and Cowboys. Yeah. Once again, this is confession sad. <laughs> I'm. A, <laughs> I'm rolling with the Lions. <laughs> I'm, by, I'm. I'm drinking the Kool Aid. I'm drinking what about okay. the Cowboys. I mean, I'm Cowboys. Who you? Um, do you see? I got Cowboys. I'm gonna I'm gonna make another confession here. <laughs> it's confession said. I'm taking the G man. That's right. Oh, they gonna oh, wow. roll. They gonna roll down there and loop them Cowboys up. Ah <laughs> oh, yeah, Romo. He sucks. Well, you gotta give. No, him don't take. I mean, you gotta give him a little no, credit. Don't take no offense to this down there in Texas people, but they, yeah, credit. They gotta give him a little credit. They five and you know what? You know what I will give them credit for. <laughs> Go ahead. And they shocked me when they beat um, Seattle. Yeah, in yeah, they, Seattle. Yeah, yeah they got. I, I had to give them a little credit on that. They beat Seattle. Matter of fact, Seattle. speaking of the NFL, wasn't that a uh, wonderful game Thursday? Night? Oh yeah, man. Best oh, best, best Thursday night football they had. Mm, best the best Thursday night. Had. Best best one they had. You know. So Ashley, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the G men and the Lions. Come on over to Cowboy Country. I think there. <laughs> oh, let me throw this in there, by the way. I'm going to take my 49ers over the Broncos. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Mm. All right. Uh, so last words before we get up out of here. We're about to get up out of here. All right, man. Shout out, hey, shout out to uh, Cass and King, man, for winning yesterday. They're going to Ford Field next Congratulations. Week. All right, Longhorn. Uh, I'm going to say just uh, uh, complete your goals in life. Strive to do the best you can do. Success is the best revenge. All right, my brother. There we go. All right. Thank you for listening to Detroit Sports Jersey. We're here every Saturday, live, 3 p.m., WCHB 1200. You can also go to DetroitSportsJersey.com. Catch up on past shows. I'm your host, Will, D.C. Longhorn. We up out of here. Peace. All right. See you later. Thank you, listeners from Detroit to Central Texas, for joining us here live on Detroit Sports Jersey with your host, Will Sims, and co-host Longhorn. Every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern, right here on WCHB 1200 AM and 99.9 FM. Visit us at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Have a great weekend.